This is Joe Leaguers, your guide through the magical world of ear training. Throughout this video, you'll see visuals on the screen, but you can also complete the lesson with the audio alone. This allows you to train your ears while doing the dishes, flying an airplane, or performing an emergency tracheotomy. Our focus in this series will be on learning how to hear and identify intervals. What's an interval? An interval is uh, it's this um, this music thing where where you have notes and and um, and then uh, uh, hmm. Hold on, let me Google it. Okay, an interval is the distance between two pitches. Every interval has its own unique name and distinct sound. Through ear training, you can learn to recognize these intervals without even having to search around on an instrument. First. Our first interval is uh, not an interval. A musical first is when you play a note, and then you play the same note again, and that's it. So there's actually no distance between the notes. Could you hear that those pitches were exactly the same? If you could, great! If they sounded different to you, go talk to your doctor. Octave. I'm going to play a C on the keyboard, followed by the next highest C on my keyboard. An eighth or octave just happens to be eight notes apart in a major scale. Think octopus, octagon, oct meaning eight. And it sounds like a really big jump. In fact, it's uncommon for a melody to jump between notes that are larger than an octave. The song Somewhere Over the Rainbow begins with an octave. Listen especially to the big jump between the first two pitches. Isn't that special? Perfect fifth. So what makes this fifth think it's so perfect? Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. Probably. I could explain all the science and theory and math if I really wanted to, but I don't. What's most important now is that you know what each interval sounds like. We'll get to the theory later. Probably. The first note in a major scale to the fifth note in a major scale is always a perfect fifth. Going up, it sounds like the first notes in Star Wars, or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Played at the same time, a perfect fifth has a very in-tune, somewhat hollow quality to it. Time to put those ears to work. Ear exercises. Take a look at the video description if you need a reminder about what each interval sounds like, but do your best to commit them to memory. I'll play each interval three times, separately and then together, and then I'll tell you the answer, and the answer will also appear on the screen. If they sound like the same note, it's a first. If they sound like the first notes in Star Wars or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, it's a fifth. If it sounds like a really big jump or somewhere over the rainbow, it's an eighth or an octave. See how many you can get right out of ten. This should hopefully be a breeze but each lesson will continue to progress in difficulty as we add more intervals. Perfect fifth. First. Octave. 
octave. First. Octave. Perfect fifth. Perfect fifth. Octave. First. Octave. Were those exercises super easy? Great. Move on to the next lesson. Were they even the tiniest bit difficult? Great! Repeat this video every day until it becomes super easy. Ear training is not some kind of video game power-up that you gain and then retain forever no matter what. You really need to deeply infuse these sounds into your mind before even thinking about charging ahead. In the next lesson, we'll be adding the perfect fourth. If this video helped you in any way, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my page so you don't miss the next one. If it didn't help you, give this video a dislike and then please send me your home address so I can fill your mailbox with jumping spiders. Like and subscribe.